G'day guys, my name is Caleb, otherwise known as the Critic Kebab, and I've got a new movie review, and it's for El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. Welcome back to my returning viewers, and welcome to those who may be watching for the first time. I'm doing this video a little bit differently, so if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, and if you are new to the channel, click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Now, the muchly anticipated movie and follow up to the best television series ever made. Yes, that's right, Breaking Bad is the best series ever put to screen thus far. And the creative genius and true mastermind behind it all, Vince Gilligan, the creator of the show, returns as the writer director. Now, the beginning of the review will contain no spoilers for this movie but it will contain mild spoilers for the Breaking Bad series. But if you haven't already seen the show, definitely go check it out. It's incredible. You won't be disappointed. In saying that, let's begin the review for El Camino. Aaron Paul, of course, returns as Jesse Pinkman because this movie specifically focuses on him after his escape at the end of the series finale. Aaron Paul gives a stellar performance and the continuation of Jesse's story is what Breaking Bad fans are most excited for. Now, when I first heard about the Breaking Bad movie, I became a little bit nervous because the show ended so perfectly and any sort of continuation may ruin the reputation of the series because God forbid the ending of the story ruin the entire thing, am I right? Anyway, Vince Gilligan brings back all the right story threads and continues them in a way that makes perfect sense in the world that has been previously established. The entire film looks stunning. The cinematography is close to perfect, and the lighting is also top tier. But besides the film looking and sounding great, is the story any good? That is the real question. Not only is this an entertaining two-hour movie, but it continues and concludes the overall narrative in an extremely satisfying way. If you are a massive Breaking Bad fan like myself, I believe you will be extremely satisfied with what we've got. Now, there are slow moments in the film, and personally, I did wonder to myself a couple times, where are we really going with this? So I don't think the pacing is perfect, but what this film does incredibly well is create tension and keep you guessing about what's going to happen next. Now, you may expect Jesse to escape and get away scot-free, but in typical Breaking Bad fashion, something doesn't go according to plan. There are tons of great surprises, and even though this is a feature-length film, it still very much so felt like Breaking Bad. Skinny Pete and Badger return, and they bring some great moments of levity, as well as some really heartwarming moments as well. Honestly, a lot of this movie is what I expected, but at the same time, it delivered it in a way that was enthralling and kept me guessing, but most importantly, it left me satisfied. This is a suspenseful, emotional, and intense finale to this epic story that has twisted and turned right from the start. Vince Gilligan was the only person who could have done this specific story justice, and I think he did a great job writing it, and then translating it to screen. I had a great time watching it, and regardless if you're a massive Breaking Bad fan, or someone who just casually enjoyed the series, I think you'll really enjoy this movie. So I'm giving it the thumbs up approval. El Camino is streaming on Netflix right now, and it's a definite recommendation from me. Those are my spoiler free thoughts on the film, so now I'm going to transition into my spoiler chat where I discuss the spoilery moments that really stood out to me. So if you have not yet seen the film, go watch it and then come back here for all the spoilers. Alrighty, so the first thing that I want to mention is towards the beginning of the movie, when we pick up right where we left off in the series finale, with Jesse screaming and speeding down that dirt road. And almost instantaneously, the red and blue flashing lights appear in the distance. It's what I expected coming in, but when it happened, it was still an incredibly tense moment, especially when he's laying down and waiting as the cop cars drive past. An excellent opening to the movie, which then hilariously transitions us back with Skinny P and Badger. 
Next up, we have the return of Joe, the old car junk guy, and he comes over to help them disappear the getaway car. Seeing him return for that brief scene was great and hilarious. Also, another small moment that pays reference to the series was over the radio, you hear about Lydia and how she is in critical condition and unlikely to survive. I thought this was a good bit of connective tissue that just cleared up that plot thread for certain, proving that Walter was successful in poisoning Lydia. Now, the next big moment that I want to discuss is when Todd brings Jesse over to his place and it's revealed Todd murdered with his own belt his own cleaning lady. This was a messed up scene that just reinforced how disturbed Todd is as a character. And all the moments between him and Jesse just gave more context to that relationship and all the extreme distress that Jesse had to go through during his captivity. Even the moment when it's revealed Jesse is riding along and hiding in the back of the car with the corpse as Todd just drives along listening to music without a care in the world this was a really fucked moment. But the scene in the movie that really made my jaw drop is when Jesse is searching for money in Todd's house and the two policemen show up and the incredibly tense and suspenseful build up to their inevitable confrontation. This was an incredibly well done scene that utilized the geography established and climaxed with a extremely unexpected revelation. As soon as the guy reached for the wire and he didn't have handcuffs, it was like, oh shit, and completely changed the context of the scene. Because the moment where they rudely shut the door on that old chatty gentleman, I was like, huh, that was a bit rude for a policeman to do. But when it's revealed that they were connected to Jesse's captivity, I was like, oh, that makes sense now. This was a very well scripted moment that built on the backstory of Jesse's captivity whilst making it relevant and important for Jesse in that moment in this movie. These little intricate details that create drama and problems for Jesse is what makes this story necessary and ultimately satisfying when he does succeed in escaping at the end. The return of Ed, played by Robert Forster, was also a great surprise. And as I'm recording this right now, it's just been announced that he has passed away unfortunately. So rest in peace, Robert Forster. But his scene with Jesse and their discussion about the required money needed for this deal to go down was hilarious. And the callback to their previous arrangement was also great. But the moment where they call the cops and they respond really quick, even after Jesse's little speech was absolutely hilarious and a great subversion of expectation. I absolutely loved this scene between those two characters. And the last two things I want to briefly mention is the letter that Jesse wrote addressed to Brock. A great acknowledgement of that past relationship which brought a tear to my eye. And speaking of past relationships, the return of Kristen Ritter as Jane in that heartwarming flashback. A fantastic scene with great dialogue. But the biggest surprise that honestly wasn't really a surprise was Brian Cranston's little scene as the infamous Walter White. When he appeared on screen, I got extremely excited just to see Jesse and Walt interact on screen one more time. And thanks to Vince Gilligan, the scene is perfect. Because they did not have to include Walt in this movie, and honestly, I wouldn't have mind if they didn't. But they did, and they did so perfectly. The old RV makes a cameo, and Walt coughs away just like he used to. And that final line was just heartbreaking to hear but it was so true to who Walter is as a character. Like I said before, Vince Gilligan was the only person who could have done this story justice. And he gave us a little extra that truthfully, we didn't deserve. But thankfully, they hit their home run and I'm extremely pleased and satisfied with this final chapter in the Breaking Bad saga. Those are all my thoughts on El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. The movie is fantastic, therefore I'm going to give it an A-. Now I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the conclusion of this story and are you satisfied like I am? Now if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, comment below and if you are new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe and hit that notification button as well. As always, thank you so much for watching.
and I'll see you in another video.